here are solutions to quiz four for Math 60. Um, okay, so we're given one, two, three, four, five different questions. Uh, basically adding and subtracting eight and two with some negatives thrown in. Um, so, I don't know, these are, I guess, tricky more than they're hard. Uh, I don't know that you need a number line for each of these, but I'll start doing it because I don't know what else to show for my work. Um, so this first one, negative 8 minus 2, the way you can picture this is we're starting out at negative 8 over here, and anytime you're subtracting, you're moving left. So really what I'm doing is I'm bumping over here twice, gets me to negative 10, therefore this answer is negative 10. Negative 8 minus negative 2, what you need to know for this one is anytime you're subtracting a negative number, really all you're doing is adding the positive of that number. Maybe I'll switch colors. So really what this question is asking you is what is negative 8 plus 2? Negative 8 plus 2, you're starting over here at negative 8, except when you're adding, you move to the right. So what we get is negative 6. Okay, what about 8 minus negative 2? Well, the logic there is really similar to the one above. Anytime you're subtracting a negative, you're really just adding. So really, this is just asking you what's 8 plus 2. I don't even need a number line for that. That's just 10. All right, what about D? 8 plus negative 2. Um, well, there's kind of a trick to that one also. When you're adding a negative number, really all you're doing is subtracting. 8 minus 2, again, I don't need a number line for that. I know that that's 6. So the key there is knowing that when you're adding a negative, you're really just subtracting the positive. Um, finally, negative 8 plus negative 2. Um, I believe we've done this one already. The trick here is recognizing that, again, when you're adding a negative, what you're doing is subtracting. Negative 8 minus 2, I've seen that already, that's negative 10. That was part A. So those are your answers. Um, I don't know, I feel like I should say more about that, but I don't have anything else to say, so we'll call that good. Number 2, evaluate the following. What you need here is PEMDAS. In other words, the order of operations. We first take care of parentheses. Conveniently enough, there are none. Then we take care of exponents. Again, in this, these specific examples, we don't have any. Then what you do, and this is where it gets a little confusing, is you do multiplication and division. Unlike the acronym suggests, M does not come before D. M and D are tied. Similarly, a and S, addition and subtraction, are tied. So what do you do when there's ties? Break ties by going left to right. So what I mean by that? All right, well, we'll see when it comes up later in the problem. This first one, 10 times 2 plus 3. What you need to know is multiplication becomes comes before addition. So I do 10 times 2 to get 20 before I add 3. 20 plus 3 is 23. 3 plus 2 times 10. Again, be careful. This is actually the same as this problem. Um, I want to multiply first. This is not 3 plus 2, which is 5 times 10. It's 3 plus 2 times 10, which is 20. Do multiplication before addition. 3 plus 20, as I saw above, is 23. Division and multiplication. Multiplication and division are tied. Multiplication does not come before addition. It's, I do not do this before I do this. It's a tie. I break ties by going left to right. Left to right, I first figure out 10 divided by 2, which is 5. And then I do 5 times 5, which is 25. Uh, part D here, now I want 10 minus 2 times 3. Again, multiplication before addition and subtraction. I guess I should put like equal signs in here. Um, I want to do 2 times 3 before I do 10 minus anything. So 2 times 3 is 6. 10 minus 6 is 4. Finally, this last one down here. Um, I got division and I got addition. I wonder if that's what I meant to do. I guess it doesn't matter. Multiplication and division comes before addition and subtraction. 10 divided by 2 is 5. And then 5 plus 3 is 8. Um, those are the answers. Uh, I don't know what else to say, so we'll call that the end of the quiz.